everybody, it is me, Fizer Bunny, and welcome back to my overview slash review of the very first stuff pack for The Sims 4, The Sims 4 Luxury Party stuff. Okay, guys, so Luxury Party is a stuff pack that gives you a lot of luxury related fashion and items uh, for your Sims parties and all that stuff. So, um, I literally just opened my game, and this is what I saw. Um, so, we have this cute little introduction screen. Welcome to The Sims 4 Luxury Party. So, I'm just going to go ahead and read to you guys all of these individually okay party in style live in luxury uh throw the most lavish party in town with a collection of flashy furniture and decorations and fun and elegant pieces to your sims homes just to impress from sparkly sequin dress to shiny three-piece tuxedos your sims will be the best dressed at any black tie event or just any event period complete their glamorous look with new hairstyles and accessories awesome Indulge in the new buffet table. Delight your guests in the new recipes via the quick click on ta the table. Or prepare and serve your own elevated cuisine. You can find this item in the bars category in builds mode. And finally, experience the all new fountain of mirth. Take advantage of the mixology and cooking skills to serve variety of drinks and snacks. Or use the mischief skill to make things more exciting by adding a little something extra. You can find this item in the bars category in build mode. Okay, so what's interesting about the Sims 4 Luxury Pack, unlike what we were used to, stuff packs in The Sims 2 and The Sims 3, is that it actually has gameplay. Other than items and clothing, it actually introduces a little bit of gameplay, very much like what we're familiar with with the Sims 3 store premium content items. So anyway, I'm super, super excited. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut into create a sim first, and I will see you guys there in just a second. Alrighty guys, we are back in Create a Sim, and as you guys can see, we have our, um, we have my get to work household over here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and actually show it to you guys first, um, the hairstyles and the makeup that came with this brand new stuff pack, so I'm really, really excited. Okay, let's go ahead and actually filter all these items into packs, and Luxury Party comes with a very, very interesting green logo. That's really cool. Okay, so we have four new hairstyles for the females. Really, really exciting. Okay, so first off, we have this beautiful hairstyle that has a fringe and has like very, very beautiful locks that go to the side and to the back. I really, really like it. It matches our Sims personality really well. I like the fringe, actually. We don't get a lot of that in the game. And I'm just gonna go ahead and show it to you guys in different colors. Very, very beautiful. I really like it. Um, I actually really like it. I like it especially the back. Um, I wish there was a little bit more, more volume on top, but that's just me. I, I really, really like this. I will definitely be using it, okay? And this is our second hairstyle. Very, very glamorous. Um, I... I'm pretty sure it takes a lot of effort to get your hair to stay like that like all throughout the day but it's very very beautiful kind of reminds me of um something that would have been popular in the 1970s you know you guys like i could see freaking ito ono uh wearing this and if you guys don't know her just look her up ito ono she is kind of a rock star in the 1970s and 1980s so i just removed her makeup uh, anyway, we'll, we'll be seeing a lot of makeup later, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys in a bunch of different colors as well. Very, very beautiful hairstyle once again. And then we have this one, which is a bun. Yeah, it is a bun, kind of, uh, or a chignon. I, I don't know how you guys say it, but once again, very, very beautiful. Every time I think of luxury party, this is the thing I have in mind. Like, I can see someone walking the red carpet with this hairstyle very very formal and very very put together i think it makes the sims look freaking amazing and then finally we have this one hairstyle which is oh my god it has this beautiful bun at the back and this beautiful poofy front it is kind of a pompadour pompadour with a bun i don't know it looks very very beautiful i think out of everything this is probably my personal favorite just because I feel like we don't have anything like this in the game and uh, I don't know it's a very very beautiful hairstyle once again every time I think of luxury party these two kind of epitomize that so I really really like these two hairstyles so I'm just gonna go ahead and actually just leave it like that and let us go and check out all the new makeup items okay so we're gonna go ahead and filter these items once again uh, and, oh my god, we it actually came with a lot of new makeup. That's really cool. So this is the first one. Um, very, very beautiful. I like how 
you can see some sparkle and dazzle. Uh, so that's really, really awesome. Um, yeah. Awesome, awesome. This one is also really cool. I can see a lot of really, really trendy, uh, really trendy girls or beauty gurus like doing this makeup. Uh, yeah, very, very, it also has a very beautiful shape actually. It kind of brings your eyes out and stuff. Okay, the third one is, oh my god, that is beautiful. It reminds me of Tinkerbell for some strange reason, but very very beautiful once again there's a lot of sparkle and if you guys actually rotate your camera or pan it a little bit you can see like a lighting effect on these like beads or these sequins very very beautiful oh my gosh um you know definitely not something that i would put on my sims on a daily basis but definitely like on like a fantasy themed masquerade something i would definitely definitely put it on my sims and it is absolutely stunning very very beautiful okay um, this one is a little bit, oh, this item kind of reminds me of something that would come with The Sims 3 Into the Future. I don't know why, it just looks like sci-fi makeup. Very, very interesting. I think it could work if you're looking for something like this. I don't know, it depends. Uh, but definitely, this is probably like my least favorite one. And then we have this one as well, which once again, tons of sparkle. Kind of reminds me of a parrot for some strange reason, probably because of the two-tone uh, coloration and stuff. Very, very beautiful once again. I think it's so stunning. Once again, it's nothing that I would put on my Sims like on a daily basis, but definitely when I'm throwing like a super, super glammed up party, this is something that I would go to. I think out of everything, actually, this is probably my favorite one just because it kind of looks like a fantasy makeup and I absolutely love it. Okay, this is an eyeliner, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, it is an eyeliner, in fact. Okay, let's go ahead and actually look at it in different colors. It looks like we came... Oh, it actually has some glitter onto it as well. How awesome is that? Once again, I love the glitter, so yay. And then we also have another eyeliner over here that, um, what's a different? Okay, this one is a little bit more solid, I guess. It doesn't come with a glitter, but it's, it's really, really cool as well. They literally went crazy with the freaking winged eye. This is like a wing that is a mile long. How freaking cool is that? Very, very really beautiful in the royal blue color, actually. So I really, really like that. And... Finally, we have two lipsticks to choose from. Very, very beautiful, very interesting colors. What I like the most about these lipsticks are actually the texture of them, not necessarily like the color combination. Even though these lipsticks would totally work on people like Katy Perry or Nicki Minaj, I totally can see them wearing it. But once again, they're so beautiful, you guys. I love the color and I love the texture most of all. It's 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 amazing. This is this is so awesome awesome and then this one we have kind of a two-tone lipstick once again um very very beautiful um i'm looking at okay we have some very subdued color schemes which is really really cool as well i don't know it's it's very beautiful costume makeup i guess which is always good uh so yeah i think i really really like this one so i'm just gonna go ahead and actually put that on her Alrighty guys, so I just went ahead and styled her a little bit. I just put on her like some really really cool colored lipstick and also some my, probably like my favorite eyeshadow that came with a luxury party and also we're gonna go ahead and check out all the accessories that came with the stuff box. So let's go ahead and filter it once again. Uh, I think she looks really cool you guys. I think she totally looks like a boss. Every Everybody's eyes will definitely be on her um, when she goes to a party and I love how the this color in particular for the ear earrings really work and if you guys actually look at it closer you can see some sparkle which is really really cool i really like it very very beautiful intense saturated color this silver color looks amazing i could definitely work on that and um we have some black as well once again really really amazing and we have some two-tone color beautiful 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 i think my favorite one is the silver and then the purple, and then the black, and then the red. These first four colors, I think, are absolutely stunning. Moving on, okay, we only have one earrings. We have three necklaces to choose from, actually, so that's really cool. Okay, this is the first one. Very, very interesting diamond pattern. You guys can see it's a very beautiful necklace. Definitely very expensive as well, so yes. Uh, once again, looks amazing in the silver color. Uh, also looks really good in the gold and the black, and in the red. I wish the strap was red as well, but 
Anyway, it's it's very, very beautiful. I like it. I'm gonna say that a lot. Very beautiful. Okay, this pink one also looks amazing. Oh my gosh. I love putting accessories on my sims because it just gives them a lot of personality. And oh my gosh, these necklaces are just freaking the bomb. They are absolutely insanely beautiful. Oh my goodness. That pink color is absolutely stunning. She looks like she could be like a princess or something attending a coronation if only we had like a crown like this one is probably my favorite one it looks beautiful in all these different colors literally each and every one of these are on point like even the green one is on point like it's it's kind of amazing okay and this is the last one uh for some strange reason looking at it in this color scheme kind of reminds me of a piece of coral for some strange reason i don't know but it looks very interesting looks like um a fantasy once again you know it's, it's a very fantastical design which is not bad you know at least we have the option but it's probably not something I, you know what i really like this in the pink you know i can see someone wearing this as, as like an avant-garde accessory which is really really cool so i'm just gonna go ahead and did not put any accessories on her because i think her her look itself is overly crazy already okay so let's go ahead and check some of the clothing items that came with the stuff back now the bulk of the items that came with this stuff back are actually clothing items so that is really really interesting to point out okay so for the tops it came with two different tops we have this first one which is kind of a bustier which almost has like a peplum on it very very interesting very i'm gonna say like it's kind of a very retro design because i could see someone in the 80s wearing this but it's very very beautiful especially in these pastel colors i feel like she can be a superhero or something looks very very awesome and then we have this kind of tuxedo type of top which is very very dang she has this band over here but her her boobs are totally like exposed but once again very sexy um you know she is kind of covered up but you can see a lot of skin so it's really cool um i really like it in this color it works really well with our sim actually looks really good on her kind of gives me once again a throwback to the 80s but i don't know it looks really cool i really really like it okay i'm just gonna put this on her in that i think that looks really really adorable she looks like freaking tinkerbell you guys okay so for the bottoms we're gonna go ahead and see okay we also came with the two different bottoms which is really 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 cool uh, this first one comes with like a band of sequins, which is awesome. Uh, I think that gives it a little bit of spice to this outfit. I wish it would actually come with something that matches our top. So let's actually look at that and put on like a matching top on her. Really, really awesome. I really like how that looks. And then this one, we're going to put on her in the pink one because I really like how it looks and see how this other bottom would look. Um, it is really, really interesting as well totally totally matches with this outfit i totally knew that it would match it like that but i don't know it's really cool i like the shape of it it's kind of almost a bell bottom but not but yeah it's it's really really awesome i can see this actually being very versatile as well especially in the black you can wear this as like office wear or something like that and you guys can see like it has some really cute detail on the side even in the black color so that's really interesting okay Next up is probably something that I'm super super excited with is the you know the full body outfits that came with luxury pack our luxury party pack and oh my god I'm literally speechless because I cannot wait to see the section okay so we can it came with five different dresses and gowns for your sims and this is the first one <gasps> it's absolutely stunning you guys it's very very beautiful and on trend like very very beautiful and it has a lot of beautiful insane detail the top sparkles like sequins this neckline kind of juts out like feathers and it has a beautiful mermaid shape totally totally on point comes with beautiful color you guys can totally see that it looks amazing on our sim skin tone especially in the pastel color uh oh my gosh oh my gosh the white one is just absolutely stunning holy shit i have to bleep that out or something but the white and the pink one looks ab amazing it's it's so beautiful okay next is this a-line dress that kind of reminds me of a grecian toga 
that is bedazzled with all these sequins and stuff. Once again, very, very stunningly beautiful. Uh, if you're going for something that's a little bit more quiet but still fashionable, I would definitely choose this. Because the shape of it is very simple, which would complement anybody's, you know, bodies, I guess. You know, you can wear this if you're super thin or if you're a little bit curvy. Uh, but it comes with very, a ton of different beautiful colors. I really like it in this kind of emerald green color that ombre is into a brown and I also like it in the white one as well very very beautiful glamours okay these three colors over here plus the green is my favorite color scheme very very beautiful I would go for the green actually if you would wear this dress just because you know make it a little bit different plus you can be seen from a mile away next is this short cocktail dress that is the only one that came among all the gowns this definitely stands out as the only short dress uh, but once again, it comes with a lot of different colors. This particular color scheme kind of reminds me, if you guys have seen Sex in the City 2, um, there is a scene of Samantha and Miley Cyrus wearing the same dress. And this is exactly like that dress. Very, very stunning. I'm literally, my jaw is literally dropping right now. This is so beautiful. It's so... <gasps> Oh my freaking goodness, this red is absolutely stunning. I don't know, it, it is so beautiful, you guys. Oh my gosh, and this one is also beautiful. And that one is also beautiful. Somebody pinch me because these are so beautiful. <gasps> Even this one is so totally reminds me of Zach Posen or like Marquesa gowns. I don't know, I love Project Runway, so. And oh my gosh, this is also so beautiful. I feel like I'm losing it. It's kind of a mix between figure skating and, you know, just red carpet goddess i would love to see this as a gown that would be really cool but as a dress it is perfect because i can see a lot of sims wearing this and each and every color scheme is different and just as beautiful as the other one so i cannot believe how beautiful this dress is definitely these two are my favorite so far uh but we still have a bunch of things to see so hopefully i get it past this you know, review in one piece. Okay, once again, this is so beautiful. If you want to be a little bit more covered up, but still look very classy, I would definitely go for this one. Uh, looks amazing in the white and in other colors, like in other pastel colors, it looks really, really cool as well. Actually, this black one looks really cool because you can see a little bit of the ombre type of thing over there, but I, I really like it. You have a little bit of spunk with the cutout. It's very beautiful. Uh, yeah, very, very cool. And then finally, we have this one dress. Um, once again, very, very beautiful. It comes with some beading and I don't know. It's once again, luxury party. This is exactly the type of dress that I would associate with this expansion pack. I especially like it in this color. I don't know. I, for some reason, I like all of these in this kind of very, very pale pink blush color. And the red one is also really awesome as well. But the thing is, every time I see this kind of treatment in the dress, it kind of reminds me of Mother, Mother of the Bride. Oh my gosh, I know that's a little bit harsh, but totally very, very Mother of the Bride for me. I don't know why. I think it's because of this waistline. If it went a little bit down or a little bit higher, that would have been so much better. Uh, but yeah, nevertheless, it is a stunning dress. I love the length. Um, so you can see your shoes actually, but definitely these two are my favorite ones. I'm gonna go ahead and actually just leave that on her and give her some cute little- <gasps> Oh my god! We actually have some shoes that came with this stuff back. Are you freaking shitting me? Somebody pinched me. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the shoes. This stilettos, which are super, super on trend. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, oh my gosh, you guys. This, this is amazing. I wish I could zoom in. Uh, but these are so freaking stunning. I'm just... Best shoes ever. Uh, okay. Very, very awesome. I think this one would actually work really well with what she's wearing. And then these ones kind of reminds me of something that my mom would wear for some strange reason. I think these ones... I don't know. Very, very interesting as well. Uh, at least we have the option. Strappy, it's kind of becoming a thing once again. Um, so I really, really like it as well. I'm pretty sure if you paired it with... A really really good top it would work and then finally we have this one which is very very striking this one is the more edgy one out of all of them uh, once again very very beautiful color combinations 
all the shoes I'm absolutely in love with. I'll, I'll give you guys that. And I will totally put these on my Sims for their formal wear, but this is my favorite one. Okay, do we have some new accessories? Oh my gosh, yes, we actually do. This is so awesome. Okay, we have some new accessories, and um, it looks like uh, we have two bracelets or two bangles. This one, I'm not even going to keep it away from you guys, but this one is totally a knockoff of one bracelet that we got from The Sims 3 into the future and i told you guys that a lot of the items that came with this expansion pack i mean it's the stuff pack would really really work with into the future and this is literally the exact same bracelet that came with into the future so yeah interesting and then we have this one which is completely new and i appreciate this one because it's absolutely new it's nothing that we've ever seen before and i can totally see someone wear this and pull this off with a nice outfit but i think the bracelets are just in the middle for me uh so far this is the section that really d didn't have anything that blew me away but uh, there were so many things that already blew me away so okay next up we're gonna go ahead and hop on to the male items which i'm really really excited as well okay so let's go ahead and look at the male hairstyles and accessories and makeup first okay oh wow it actually came with three different hairstyles for the men that's really interesting uh, oh my gosh, this is so awesome. This is like a mix between Zayn Malik and Justin Bieber gone right, you guys. Boom! Uh, <laughs> but totally, I wear my hair like this, kind of a pompadour, but a little bit more cleaner. But if I can make my hairstyle like this, I would totally be the happiest guy in the world because this looks amazing. He actually kind of looks like Ricky Dillon for some strange reason, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put in different colors. I don't know, very, very beautiful. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is kind of amazing. I cannot wait to actually make Sims and put this hairstyle on them. Okay, this one totally, totally reminds me of my hairstyle if I just left it as it is, because I kind of have wavy hair. And this, once again, looks very, very luxurious. I can totally see like someone, I don't know, Donald Trump wearing this or something like that very very put together but it kind of messed it up a little bit which is really really cool as well i don't know these look really cool so i'm just gonna go ahead and put that in a bunch of different colors as well and then finally we have this one hairstyle once again very very be oh my gosh i think this is actually my favorite one but just because it's a little bit simple <laughs> but you can actually see a lot of you know style to it you know it's very very stylish and timeless as well you know it, it, it this type of hairstyle that would look good in any period in history and I really really like that okay I'm gonna go ahead and just leave this on him because I think that actually looks really really good okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys some no accessories for the men no hats um it did look does it come with some new makeup for the men okay it didn't come with some new makeup for the men anyway okay I'm not surprised okay tops the men came with a bunch of different tops over here okay we have two different tops for the men both of them are absolutely outrageously crazy um honestly these are something that i would not wear on a daily basis but i could definitely see what they were going for with the whole luxury party stuff um i really really like it in this color i don't know and um probably like the purples look really good as well that vest is to die for it is so beautiful and you can see that it has like a metallic finish so if you actually look at it from different sides it looks very very good from the back it looks amazing from the back uh from the front because of all these details i think it kind of kind of looks cuckoo but it's okay i can definitely put these on my sims if they are going on a on a party so yeah very very good top i'm very impressed okay this one is a little bit more up my alley i like the whole ombre oh my god this yellow color is amazing oh my gosh i'm i'm speechless i am in love with this whole thing wow i wish we had prom in college because i would totally wear it something like that um, I, I particularly I particularly like it in light colors where where the color kind of blends with the detail. I think it makes it look particularly awesome as opposed to these black. I don't know. Everything looks really good actually. So I really like this one, this one, and then that one. Oh my gosh, you guys, that looks very very awesome. Okay. Wow, this one definitely the top to beat because that's probably my favorite top in the game. 
Okay, so moving on to the bot. Oh, we don't have any bottoms for the men. That's interesting. Okay, whatever. That works. We did a we did have two very very special tops, so that I think makes up for it. Okay, and we have two full body outfits. Oh, let's go. <gasps> Once again, this is absolutely stunning. Kind of reminds me of something Ellie Sab would design. Like, he would totally use this material on a gown or something. Very, very beautiful. And definitely, this would work in a bunch of different colors just because it is a full head to toe. Like, seriously, color scheme is, I mean, head to toe sequined outfit. Absolutely amazing, you know. I could totally see the guy from Hunger Games, like the, the guy that's like hosting the TV show or something. He would totally wear something like this, and I don't know, maybe even Ryan Seacrest if he's feeling a little bit more fashionable, hosting American Idol or something like that. Very, very stunning. And then, okay, this one is, I guess, something that's a little bit more up my alley. It comes with some stunning beaded detail, and I like this just because it looks more put together. And once again, I'm pretty sure this would come in a bunch of different colors that look amazing. The white one is so stunning. It has some subtle sheen to it, which is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's amazing. The red one looks like a disco ball. Once again, I don't mind. <laughs> it looks really cute. Okay. I'm absolutely in love with this. This is probably my favorite outfit that came for the stuff pack. And I love this color and that color. Uh, oh my gosh, these are so cool. They make the men look super swing, which is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put that on him. Or actually, um... Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this white one on him. I think that would look best. Okay, shoes. Yes! Yes! Thank you, EA. Can somebody give them like a slow clap? Because this is amazing. I did not expect any shoes for the men. But we get some, and this is amazing. Okay, we have these very, very swank shoes that have, like, a nice little detail to it. It's very simple, but I can totally see this working with all the other outfits that we just saw because they're simple, but all the attention is focused on the outfit, which is really cool. I actually think that this one in particular will work really well with what he's wearing. Okay, that's really cool. And then this one is a little bit more glammed up it has like the studs and stuff i can see like a rock star or maybe even pharrell williams wearing this on the red carpet very very beautiful colors as well i particularly like it in the royal blue color and the black and kind of this white one as well okay i am absolutely impressed with all the creative sim items i i am i'm literally impressed you guys okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and give this kind of a rating for you guys just based off of the creative sim items. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Definitely very, very easy 9 out of 10 because each and every one of the items are special. Nothing that we've ever seen before. They're stunning individually. I think they work well mixed with other items in the game and other items that came with the stuff pack. And... Um, yeah, it totally works with the theme luxury party plus with a price tag of 12 US dollars over here in the Philippines. It's totally, totally a steal compared to how we used to have the other stuff packed. Very, very good. Two thumbs up for all the creative sim items, but no, that is not yet it because we still have a couple of build and buy mode items that we need to see. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut into build buy mode and I will see you guys there in just a second. Alrighty guys, we are back here in builds by mode and we're gonna go ahead and check out all the different builds by mode items that came with luxury party and I was actually surprised to see this but upon entering builds by mode you actually see a couple of rooms that are connected or that are designed specifically for this stuff pack. Uh, so we have this luxury VIP room that comes in a bunch of different colors. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the um, yellow golden color which is really really awesome and then we are also going to go ahead and plop in another room as well uh, I guess I should do like rotate that or something right <laughs> okay let's go ahead and just do it like that and then we also have another room we have the whimsical sectional okay so purchase the set okay we can go ahead and buy this room as well um, so it comes with all the different items that came with this stuff back uh, so we don't have to like look for it all over the place and all that stuff. So let's just go ahead and plop it like that and pretend like we have a swank party. But I want to show you guys all the individual items as well. So we're going to go ahead and actually go into um, 
built by mode this, this show all is gonna give you everything right off the bat and we're gonna go ahead and filter into the luxury party okay how many items two four six eight ten twelve okay so we have 12 different builds by mode items that came with this stuff back very very interesting first one is this chair totally something that i would see in a party atmosphere i really really like it i t i totally see this chair a lot during weddings and then we have this bar stool as well which matches um with the chair which is really really awesome we have this ottoman uh which matches the other chairs which is really cool as well and it comes with the same exact color schemes um and we have this table sequ sequinus uh which is a table that has sequined um, tablecloth which is once again really really amazing I really like tables with tablecloths because I don't know it's just um, it's really really special and um, I don't know it totally matches with the party wear plus if you have your sims wearing so many sequins on their gowns they would totally match the table isn't that so awesome okay and then we have this um, boom cube which I'm assuming is a surface that looks like you would put on a bar perfect because um, this would totally work on like a bar venue or like a lounge or something like that and it totally matches with a an actual bar <laughs> uh, For some reason these two items are giving me like an art deco vibe, which is awesome I'm so excited put it in the pink color. Why not? Okay And then of course we have this fountain of mirth, which is kind of I'd like to call it a premium content item uh, because it it is the one item that gives you are actually one of two items that give you additional gameplay for this stuff pack once again gameplay stuff pack amazing okay so let's just go ahead and put save that for later uh this one is the banquetia plateau which is actually a table that you can put on different foods on so i'm just gonna put a couple of these to see how they work and then we are gonna go ahead and fancy feast banquet table okay what what do the banquet tables do i don't know Okay, let's just get rid of some of these items so that we have money and stuff. Okay, let's um, keep it like that for now. And then, um, okay, so we have a bunch of banquet tables. I'm going to put this chocolate fountain over here. And then we have some curtains. The dream ruffle. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Very, very Cleopatra. I don't know. Cleopatra, yay. I love it. And it also comes with sequins and stuff. Very, very art deco looking. I love it so much. And then we have this lamp. It's a lamp that looks like a sculpture. How freaking cool is that? This would totally work on like a garden or something. So that's really, really exciting. Uh, and finally, we have the pulse panel, which is a wall um, ornament, which is once again, really, really luxurious looking. Totally would work. Um exactly how they did it over on this area so that's really really awesome okay you know what since we actually have these items already placed into the world i'm just gonna go ahead and try to see how we can interact with them i'm gonna go ahead and pull up that one over here and just plop that one over there okay so i cannot wait to see all the different interactions that came with these items so the, the buffet tables yeah work exactly like um you know how buffet tables would work in the sims 3 uh but they're a different shape right now because in the sims 3 they used to be like a rectangular shape now they're kind of a circular shape so we're gonna go ahead and serve all and see how this works and then we're also gonna go ahead and see this serve food option and we can choose like different foods as well we can serve almond macaroons by the way that's my first time seeing those items by the way oh my god are these it yep these are all the things that we can serve okay ceviche uh, roast chicken, sausage and peppers, and vegetable tempura. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Okay, serve food. Okay, and we have the choice of food on which we, we, we want to serve. So we can save a little bit of money. But what I really, really want to see is this chocolate fountain in action. So let's actually have one of our sims go here. And fill fountain with chocolate, fruit punch, sparkling apple juice, and cheese. Okay, so we have to unlock these by leveling up our um, cooking skill, but let's just go ahead and fill that one with cheese, and then the other one we can fill with sparkling apple juice. I'm pretty sure they're harking to something that's a little bit more alcoholic, al alcoholic and stuff when they're talking about the freaking fruit punch and stuff. Okay, but this is this item, which I'm freaking excited because I've never owned a chocolate, um, you know, a chocolate 
fountain in The Sims because we, we had these in The Sims 2, but I never owned that item. So I'm really, really excited to get this. Uh, and you can see that The Sim can actually get, get some like food. She can eat this as like an order, I guess. And well, you know, while she's chit chatting with other people. And you can actually serve some items over here as well, you know, while you are having this fountain. This is super cool, you guys. So the ba the buffet tables came with two different designs plus a chocolate fountain. This is so amazing. Okay. And it's not just a chocolate fountain because we have some apple uh, fruit punch over here. Okay, we can grab some fruit punch. So it comes with different food choices. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. This is kind of crazy. Okay, so, okay. And it comes with a different bottle or glass as well which is really cool okay so it can depend on what type of party you're working on so if you're going for a more luxurious party i would go for the you know chocolate fountain and if I, if you were going for the more um kind of crazy party i would go for definitely the fruit punch because that's gonna get everyone juiced okay so oh, now that we've seen good. all the different items i think this is the perfect time to give you guys kind of my review of the whole shmeal okay guys so like i told you guys um uh this stuff pack in the philippines cost 12 us dollars and in my opinion uh, i'm gonna give you guys the, my my rating on the builds buy mode items first okay so the build buy mode items, there they weren't there weren't so many of them, but each and every one of them are really really awesome. I particularly love the items that we can actually interact with. Those are absolutely stunning. It's amazing. So both the chocolate fountain and the buffet tables are totally what's selling this stuff back for me. Uh -huh. So having said that, I'm gonna give the build buy mode items an eight out of ten. Just because I'm absolutely in love with the chocolate fountain and the buffet table. But other than that, all the other items are just so-so. They're a little bit more mediocre. Uh, but I love the buffet table and the chocolate fountain. I cannot express that enough. So I think, having said that, it still deserves an 8 out of 10. So, uh, now that we have seen everything, I'm going to give you guys my complete overview slash review of this stuff pack. So, um... With a price tag of 10 to 12 US dollars, I can say that it's absolutely completely worth it. 8.5 out of 10. Very, very good rating. It is excellent. Particularly impressed with the um, gameplay items and the clothing items, especially for the female. I'm just very, very impressed. Thumbs up for EA. Two thumbs up actually for EA. It, it, this is so important for me. Because the first stuff pack kind of sets the tone or like kind of sets a center for the rest of the stuff pack. So hopefully the team would be consistent with this, you know, you know, this quality of, you know, this quality of content because it, it is excellent, you guys. I cannot express that enough. It is very, very good content and I'm ex very, very high quality and I'm very impressed once again. So having said that, what I'm actually going to do is wrap this review overview slash you know first impression type of thing so um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my nice little review there i literally tried to be as comprehensive as i can show you guys each and every one of the items and say something about them but yeah um once again i hope you guys enjoyed my nice little review i just want to thank you guys so much for watching you all have an awesome 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 day and i will see you guys next time bye bye